Hello, welcome to End Times Crypto. I'm Kev and I'm watching a video today by Derek Gilbert on Skywatch TV where he covers the topic of the death of crypto. Is it possible? Let's find out. Topic number four, the death of crypto. The Bank for International Settlements last week concluded in a report that cryptocurrencies cannot fulfill the role of money, end quote. This is not surprising. It falls in line with a previous report from the Bank of International Settlements that predicts the expansive rise of central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. Uh, you see, a specific coin's success or failure is not really dependent on the technology, usually, uh, unless the technology behind it, the uh, block coin or blockchain is, is badly written code, but uh, it's mainly based on branding and popularity. In other words, the success of a cryptocurrency is based on the faith that users have in it. The real factor behind the success and the eventual demise of cryptocurrency is that central bankers don't like money that is outside their control. And that's what will spell the end of cryptocurrency. Technocrats want control over the money supply. They want to know exactly what we're spending our money on. They want to be able to deny us the ability to spend money on certain disapproved things. And again, with 90% of the central banks on planet Earth currently researching or developing their own central bank digital currencies, you can bet Bitcoin, Ethereum, and the rest of the cryptos will eventually be pushed out by the CBDCs, which is just one step closer to creating the mark of the beast. Topic number So what do you think? Do you think uh, crypto is going to die? Do you think that uh, Derek Gilbert was right when he said that cryptocurrency is mainly dependent on the faith that people have in it? I personally think that as we see tough times ahead, that when people, if we get to the point where food becomes scarce and there's riots on the street and pandemonium, I think people are going to sell whatever coins they're holding so that they can survive. Now, I'm thinking pretty negatively, but I, I just see tough times ahead, especially in the year 2022. So, but let me know what you think about what Derek had to say. And uh, yeah, let me know how you're preparing for the near future and the long-term future. I wish everyone the best of luck in their investments and their preparations. But most of all, I hope that each and every one of you spend some time with the Lord today in his word and in prayer. God bless each and every one of you watching this video.